My name's Dermot. I'm just finishing up my second year here at Itchin College. I have come from Toynbee. Uh, Itchin just seemed like a really nice college. Uh, it wasn't too big, but it was big enough. There were really, really nice staff. It just seemed really friendly, nice, relaxed atmosphere. And also they were able to help me with various things that I needed to carry on my education and carry on doing well. I looked at a couple of different places, um, mainly mainly Itchin, um, but I looked at a couple of a couple of other local colleges, and then one a long way away for the blind in Hereford, which is about two and a half hours away, um, which is a residential college for the blind. Which was it was very very good, but for the uh, academic um, side of things, I needed the proper A levels and things which you can get here, and not so not so good there. In my first year, when I came up here, I chose A-level Maths, uh, A-level Psychology, A-level Biology, uh, B-Tech in Music, Level 3, which is A-level equivalent, and I was doing uh, the Gateway project as well, which is uh, a sort of an, an enrichment for various things, which leads to doing an extended project qualification in your second year. So my disability I got when I was four years old, um, and basically what has happened is I've got no eyesight at all in my left eye and I have very limited eyesight in my right eye so I quite literally see directly what's in front of my right eye so I don't see my hand in front of my face until it's right in front of my eye or I can't see uh, peripherally, I can't see long ways out sideways or anything like that. It's also quite blurry because I'm short-sighted um, just as a, <laughs> just as an added separate issue. So what that means is I can't see the whiteboards. Uh, I can't see small, um, small books that you would normally get to have the work in and have the the information that you need. So I need either computerized files and things from the teachers or from the books, uh, so I can access them, read them. I often have some support in lessons to help out with seeing the board and keeping things nice and quick because obviously if you see a lot less sometimes you can't go as quickly as the rest of the group and all of that is provided very well by the college. I am a braillist but I don't do braille here. I think I came to the conclusion around year 11 that because I still had enough sight to read print and my braille was, it was good but it wasn't as good as my print reading in terms of speed. I thought it would be a better idea to read print for the time being as as it was quicker and I could digest things more quickly. But as time's going on, I think Braille is coming and um, more likely going to be something I'm going to be using more often. The students here, and I think this is the, the case probably as, as anybody gets older, but particularly here, they're a lot more understanding, a lot more accepting. You um, At school I found that people always thought you were different and and didn't quite belong where you're supposed to be but when you come up to college everyone's a lot more understanding and they look at you as a whole and ignore your disability almost not to the point where if you need help they won't give it to you because if you do need a hand with something the students are very good and very helpful but for the most part they just let it go unless you mention it otherwise uh, the learning support team were, were very good that it was quite a lot smaller when I first started um, than it is now. There's a few more people in it, but I got to know them very, very quickly. I had a central point of contact with them, so my uh, main LSA was a person called Dan, who uh, I saw a lot of the time, but I still had uh, a few lessons with the other LSAs, and uh, I knew who they all were, and they would all say hello to me, and they all seemed very kind and caring and quite happy to help with things. Uh, over my time here, they've done quite a lot of things for me, from making things bigger. So um, in A-level psychology for the first year, there's a huge amount of notes that are very, very small. And they had gone through all of those, made them all a nice size, uh, through to just reading things for me. So in A-level maths, uh, Dan just reads out from the book for me, or reads from the whiteboard and writes down in front of me what's going on on the whiteboard so I can see what's happening and get through it. They've also uh, supplied me with a laptop, 
which has been very helpful over the last couple of years to help me get through my studies. And pretty much they've uh, done done their best to try and assist in anything that I've asked, as long as it's reasonable. 